this is another tutorial and we'll be talking about classes in C++ in classes in C++ classes you have to um, you have to pass you have to first declare your member list and second you have to what define them so we are going to start by creating the class and we create the class with the keyword class then we assign a name to it so the class name is student for now so what we will be doing is we have to read this question then we will know what to do the question says you are supposed to define a class name student with private words data members name and what age but um the name is supposed to be a string and the age is supposed to be an integer so this is how we are going to declare it i have to declare the attributes first and we are going to make it private so private then string name i have to terminate it in H, then I will terminate it. Then I will move to the member functions. In the member functions, we are going to make it public. And in the member functions, one um, based on the question, it says that we are supposed to what include a constructor. And we must also have a function called display info. For me to create a constructor, a constructor is a method with the same name as the class. So I will just have to say student. Then I have to pass parameters to it. So the parameters I'm going to pass will be. Will be string and then comma int a you have to understand that these are parameters and we separate parameters by what um a comma then void display We are going to use the void display info info to display the name and the age of the student. We have to declare or we have to define the functions. So this is how we, we are going to define the functions. Function definition is going to be student for the constructor so we are going to pass parameters to it We are going to assign these parameters to our private variables because a name is a private variable and it can only be accessed by the member functions of the same of, of this class so we can just assess it then we assign n to it so it means that wherever we call the constructor whenever we pass any name to it the name or anything being the first parameter the first parameter is going to be assigned to name so let's move on to h h will also be the second parameter so whenever we assign 
the second parameter the second parameter will be assigned to h then we move to the display so in um in the display we have to use the void which is the data type of the function then we move to student which is the name of the class the, the name of what um, the method which is what display info so within it what are you going to do the question says we are supposed to display the name of the students and the age of the student so see out place this is the name of the student how do we get the name of the student the display is a member function so we can access the name just like that so it's going to be name then let me try an end line so that the next one the next information will be on a different line so see out please this is the age of the student so um that one too you can access the name and um, the age of the student so end line let me take you through the whole code again before we start the int name what we are doing is we are learning about classes in c plus plus and in classes um in classes in c plus plus there are two parts the first part is what um declaring the member list of the class and the second part is the definition of the member functions so what we are going to do is according to the question we are supposed to declare attributes and what functions and these attributes are name and what age the question says you are supposed to make it what private private means that only member functions of this class can access these attributes any function outside this class cannot access this attribute or this variable when we move to the functions we've declared them public so it means that we can access them anywhere that we want the first function is the constructor the constructor is a function that has the same name as the class so you can see that we have what student here being the same name as the class then any parameters that you want to pass to what the constructor so it means we have string n string um, int a these parameters help us to what pass values outside the class to the constructor said that these values will be assigned to variables inside the class or the private word variables which is what the name and the age this is how we define our functions we have the name then we have we have the class name we have the name of the method we have the parameters we have the parameters being the name and what um a which is what the h in the member functions what we are going to do is we are going to assign any value that will be passed to the n 
to name. Then you assign any value that will be passed to A to H. Therefore, um, with this, we know that wherever we call the constructor, we can assign values to it. The display info is a member function. This is how to define it. First, it must have the data type, the name of the class, and an identifier or a function name. This can be any other name, but one thing is it must respect or obey the rules of naming variables or methods in C++. We are able to access name and age in display info method and function because these variables are private variables and they are in the same class with the display info so we can access this name and age inside the display info let's move on to our int main in the int main what we have to do is int main we must first create an object of the class and this is how we create an object of the class the name of the class and the object name so the object name is going to be student we have to pass values to this so for now I'm going to assign any values to it you must understand that these values must be um, a string and an integer because in the constructor we define that you'll be passing only um, string as the first name um, as the first attribute and an integer value as a second attribute or parameter so let's see we have isaac we have isaac then h is 52 So I'm going to use the object name to call the member function called display. So the object name, which is student dot display. Let me run it and let's see what will happen. So let's run it again and let's see what will happen. So please, this is the name of the student Isaac. This is the age of the student 52. So you will end this class. Then you continue on the next video.